All right, hello everyone. Uh, welcome back to the channel. This is um, Neil Kudrick, and a bit of a different video today. But what I have here is Notepad++, and uh, this is my program you're looking at. It's called Virtual Terminal. I developed it since um, about November-ish last year, 2016, and it's been in development for quite a while. You can see I have the function list open. It's got uh, everything um, that starts with a C and an uh, under underscore that's what that's called C underscore these are all terminal commands so everything from help to exit all these are terminal commands and I've got some extra things down here that um, uh, these two things are required for the system to work um, and this is the very start of the program you can see here's all the commands but something I want to show you guys um, and the reason why I'm making this video today is, uh, what was it? If I enumerate these lines of code right here, these five lines of code, right? These five lines of code, um, work with the sysinfo command, which just gives you system information. And what these four lines of, or sorry, five lines of code do is they work to get the, um, RAM size in megabytes and also in gigabytes. And this has been tricky in batch for a long time for me. I don't know if it's been tricky in batch for a long time for anyone else. But yeah, basically, if you've ever been curious how to get RAM size in batch, this is how. So let me start off with line uh, 615, that is. I can zoom in a bit. Zoom out a bit, actually. There we go. Line 615, you can see it right there. Um, so what I have is, uh, the, the whole process is basically two for loops. One of them gets it in megabytes, the other one converts that to gigabytes. Um, so yeah, this uh, uses systeminfo.exe, um, but it pipes that and it only searches for total physical memory. So the entire command will load. But what will happen is by the, by the end, instead of giving you all of the system info, it'll just give you total physical memory which for me is 4026 megabytes or about 3.9 gigabytes um, because 70 of my megabytes are hardware reserved yay for windows um, but yes this uh, basically what this does is this skips the first second and the third token which is the total physical memory this is the first second and the third token and what happens instead is it will um, it will skip all that and it will use it will set to um, sorry because the output that this command gives uh, will give me total physical memory 4026 megabytes but it'll have a comma in there and that comma I don't want to work with because if I'm trying to do math then PowerShell is going to get confused if I try to do math with a comma um, and that was what was causing it to not work I did actually a lot of experimentation on this and <laughs> PowerShell does not like working with commas. Um, but, yeah, so I set the comma to be a delimiter that it skips over, and also spaces to be a delimiter because, well, why not? So, um, yes, what that does is the output of this would look something like 4026. Um, and that's the, the output of this whole command just looks like 4026 it's just a a number and that's it and, th and that is of course the ram size in megabytes now oh, actually I'm leave space there uh in this command what it does is it uses powershell um to convert that ram size because all we're doing is setting a uh, ram size equal to the 4026 uh and then this variable ram size divide that by the size of an actual gigabyte and you get RAM size GB or RAM size gigabytes. Um, and then I do some string manipulation because what this ends up being is some really long decimal. It's like 3.931024, something like, you know, it's a bunch of decimal places that we don't want to deal with. All I really want are the first three decimal places. Um, and that is the first five characters because then it'll be 3.931. And that's the first five characters. Um, and the reason why I do this is because in my actual sysinfo command, you see, I love this, this function list, so useful. 
uh, you see what it actually does is um, when I'm telling a user their RAM size, it gives RAM size uh, in that many megabytes. And then in brackets next to it, it has about this many gigabytes. So on my system, this says 4026, which is about 3.931 gigabytes. Um, and then with the way that the sysinfo command works, it um, saves that to a file so you don't have to load it every single time, which saves a lot of time. And it was a, it was a good addition to the program. Uh, I'm going to unmark these now and put everything back the way it was. Save that and I can actually show you guys how it works. So this is a virtual terminal. Uh, it makes a beep noise. Uh, and that's it, it boots very fast. Um, help. And here's all the commands as I showed you earlier. Um, yeah. I can use the, where was it, sysinfo? Sysinfo. And that's what it does. So this is the RAM size I was telling you about earlier. RAM size on my system says 4026 megabytes, which is about 3.931 gigabytes. And you can even do the math, which I will in fact do right now. Uh, standard. Sorry, I was testing some things. Uh, 1024 times 3.931 won't uh, expand exactly to 4026, but it should say like 4000, yeah, 25.344, uh, which is very close. I didn't want to include every single decimal place um, because if I do 4026 divided by 1024, this is the actual decimal that would have been put in, and I only want the first three decimal places. I didn't want everything else because then it would have just looked a bit tacky. And I really didn't need that much precision. Um, and plus, this format supports um, users with double-digit RAM numbers and also triple-digit RAM numbers. Of course, they'll have less decimal places to work with, but it's still, you know, pretty precise. Um, yeah, in fact, I can multiply this by 1024, and I should... Whoops. Let's try this again. See, this is, this is why you don't hit the wrong button. Uh, and there we go, multiplying that by 1024, you get 4,000. So yes. Um, yeah, if you were ever, if you, person watching, were ever curious about how to get RAM size in a batch efficiently, this is how you do it. This may not be the most efficient method, there could be a more efficient method. I don't know. I'm not an expert with batch. Uh, but hey, if, if you just need a temporary way to get your RAM and you're not worried about how long it takes to do so, because this these um, lines of code do take a little while to run, because not only does it have to uh, run systeminfo.exe just to get the total physical memory, but what it has to do is it has to load PowerShell into the batch script to get it uh, to do the math. So it does take a little while, maybe it takes around like mm, 10, maybe 8 seconds max to complete these four lines of code, or sorry, five. Um, but yeah, I mean, it still works. If that's if that works for you, then um, go ahead and copy this. Um, I'll also leave this down in the video description. And uh, yeah, that's... Basically, it. That's all I have for you guys today. Um, hope you guys have a good day.